Hello, Gemini. Hello, and welcome to Window to the Soul. My name is Gemma. I am a fellow Gemini, and I am delighted here to be reading for the month of May for the Gemini Collective for 2000. I've got a little cheeky card in here from a previous deck. I just spotted that. There it is. What have we got? We've got the Four of Cups. Interesting. I'll keep an eye on that. Um, yeah, that was from the the previous reading um, snuck in there. Four of Cups. Four of Cups. The moon in Cancer. It's uh, it's disappointment or apathy or I don't want something. Something that you don't want. Um, it's not necessarily part of your reading per se, um, but definitely something I'm going to be keeping an eye on. This has preempted itself from the Sun and Moon tarot here, which I'm going to be using in the extended reading. And the deck I'm using for your Celtic Cross here today, Gemini, is the RPG or the Role Playing Game Tarot deck. Happy birthday for all the first Decan May Geminis. I'm also a May Gemini. Anybody birthday twins with me? My birthday is on the 26th of May. Let me know in the comments if you're my birthday twin. Let's get some energy on the table for Gemini here today. Your overall energy for May is the Seven of Wands. Yeah, you know, we definitely got some resistance here, some blocking energy. Mars in Leo, this is the energy of self-protection, um, whatever that looks like, whether it's a question of keeping something at bay or standing up for yourself. In some way, you're kind of ready and prepared to have your own back as and how necessary. So if it's necessary, when it's necessary, and in the way that it's going to be necessary, you're absolutely in self-defensive mode. This card here is called in this particular deck, the high ground. And that does remind us of that moral high ground. Whatever's going on here, you feel that you are in the right here and you have a right to protect yourself in this way tapping into this four of cups energy over here this would suggest to me that there's kind of something going on here that that you you don't like um but we clearly need more cards on the table for this so crossing you is the ace of swords this energy of i'm not going to take any you know what anymore feels like um a recent decision that you've made you know, maybe you've been banging your head against a brick wall. Maybe you've been trying really hard. And I think you've. It, it feels like you've reached a point where you're like, do you know what? I kind of see this. It's like there's been an injection of confidence and you're more confident and assured in yourself here. What lies at the root of this situation is the Two of Cups. Could very well be um, talking about discord with another person here, um, potentially a romantic connection or maybe a friend. Two of Cups is generally more a romantic kind of vibe. Venus in Cancer. Um, it could be who you are currently in a relationship with and there's some discord, some disagreement. Perhaps you feel they are not treating you the best. Um, it could be somebody who you're not in a relationship with per se, but this could be an ex or somebody from the past and maybe they're knock, knock, knocking on your door again. We have just shifted out of a Mercury retrograde and that can bring that around and maybe you're like, not this time. Um, recent past King of Swords. You've got somebody in your energy here, Gemini, who's kind of a bit ruthless um a bit cold not very kind or compassionate somebody who's like a bit robotic i want to say almost in in their in their energy um what have we got We've got Leo and Cancer on the table here, but royal cards are combinations. Aces are all of the suit. Feels like a cold reading up to this point. 
What's on your mind, Gemini? Justice. Yeah, you absolutely believe that you are in the right here. You believe that you have been treated or dealt with unfairly in an unjust way. I think you've reached your limit of how much of this BS you are prepared to tolerate and you're you're drawing a line and saying uh, no more no more I'm not taking this anymore basically um this could be you it is your king after all it could be you hitting that point where you're standing in your truth and you're taking a moral stand there's definitely a like a morality theme woven through the energy here and so that would definitely lend me to believe that you firmly believe that somebody has been very unfair, unjust, unkind with you. All of the above or one of those things. Um, I try not to look at situations in terms of black and white. I try to look at the nuance of these situations, but I can see that you see this very clearly now. I can see clearly now the rain has gone, right? And what you're seeing very clearly is actually you you have not been treated well. You, you just objectively have not been treated well. I think for a long time you have tried to bend over backwards to either accommodate this person or, or make nice, make things nice, make things easy, make things congenial. And I think you, this is like... You're enti entering your fuck you era. <laughs> you, you're done with this. You, you're done with this. And 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 th there's a sense of injustice. Like anger doesn't feel like the right word. I wanted to say that there's a sense of anger regarding the injustice, but hesitated because spirit didn't really give me the word anger. Is there a better word? Disappointment seems too soft and anger seems too hard. It's somewhere in the middle. If you're resonating with this reading so far, maybe you have a better word for me at this stage um, to identify this, this energy. Coming in for you is the Six of Cups. It's a beautiful energy. The sun in Scorpio. Um, I wonder if... <laughs> One of the reasons why you have tolerated as much as you have, because I feel I feel very strongly at this point, Gemini, that in order to be reaching this kind of upper limit, you've taken a whole load of crap, right? Um, nobody reaches this final your your this final straw kind of vibe if they haven't already had a whole heap of hay bales previous to this point you know somebody doesn't behave like a dick on one occasion and you've suddenly had enough you you, you know this feels like um a cumulative kind of impactive thing and i think one of the reasons that you have tolerated it for as long as you have is because there is a deep connection here or there is some kind of investment in time served so maybe you've been with this person for a long time and it's like you you know you 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 you've you've invested time and energy so you're you're hoping that we can we can make this work we can turn things around could be a soulmate kind of energy it could be that this is somebody you very much identified as a very very special person um so maybe you've granted this person more leeway than ordinarily you may have done so um think right now and moving into the future think you're considering that think you're thinking about that considering why it is you allowed it to reach this breaking point essentially just quickly returning to this this card that really did want to make itself known for your reading here today, this four of cups here, the phrase phoning it in springs to mind. Um, so maybe you, you've been going through the, the basic motions recently with no real passion or energy because you're exhausted or you're numb, that kind of, um, sort of minimal energy, minimal effort is being 
put in right now um because you're you're hitting this point where you kind of just don't care anymore like it hurts too much to care and so you've you've activated these this defense mechanism um but what i will tell about tell you about gemini i'm a gemini i've been on my entire life um doing something that you're not really invested in doing something that you don't care about doing something that you lack passion in that's not going to fly in Gemini's world. Gemini is not great at just going through the motions. Gemini needs excitement and passion and movement and intrigue and interest. If you're not interested, you've kind of screwed up with a Gemini, you know, if they lose interest in this way. Um, and I don't see a Gemini doing that long term um going through those motions phoning it in gemini doesn't phone things in um gemini is either all in or not can't be bothered not not even wasting my energy or effort on this because it's getting me nowhere i have no interest in it you know gemini would more than happily just put the losses and move towards what what is fun and exciting and brings them joy and makes them feel good um it, it's quite simple really um we are like the child of the zodiac um we, we like to play we like to be playful we like to we sit in that childlike awe and and we're not about the boring grind or monotony um we're air signs we're flighty we're mercurial um we're mutable air you know it's um this feels very heavy despite the fact there is a great deal of air on the table right now libra energy We've also got some emotions coming in here, but again, they feel deep and heavy. We've got Scorpio, Cancer, difficult, challenging energies for Gemini, very serious energies, um, which again flies in the face of this playful energy that, that you embody so much. Your advice and guidance here today. Oh, wow. This is the Seven of Swords. Oh, okay. Oh, this is an intense card to be in the advice position. Your advice is keep your cards close to your chest. I, fuck, I, I hesitate to say this because it's... I'm just going to say it. I'm going to say what... I'm going to have to take myself out of this for a moment. And if it resonates for you, it resonates for you, right? This is not on me. <laughs> Don't blame the, the messenger. Um, I am just bringing the message. The advice is withhold information, hide truth, keep things to yourself, work on stuff behind closed doors, get your ships in order, get things prepared. So you can leave on the down low, making sure that you are taken care of. Ugh, that is not the greatest energy. But if you're in a situation that is dangerous or is going to leave you kind of screwed, you know, emotionally or financially, perhaps, I, I do understand this energy. As somebody who has left relationships in my past, it might not be a relationship. This could be work, you know, and uh, maybe it's your job. And the advice then would be go get some interviews behind your employer's back and uh, work on that on the down low. And then when you have something better to go to, then you make your move and you strike. But it's kind of do it secretively um, because being honest and open clearly is not working. It, it's not working and it's not going to play in your favor. You're, that is going to be used. It's going to be weaponized against you and it's going to be used to manipulate you or potentially damage you in some way. If you are leaving a relationship and that relationship is abusive in any way, shape or form, then having to be strategic in this way, I can relate to and I completely understand it's your reading. It's your situation. Stay safe. Take care of yourself. Reach out for help if you need to and do what you got to do. Okay. Oh, okay. Somebody else in this situation. 
five of swords, you're not, you're not going to win. You cannot win. This person is setting you up for failure. No matter how hard you try, no matter how much you bend over backwards, this person will watch you break. They are going to create narratives in your head, in their head that aren't even true and be angry with you about those. You can go ahead and systematically tick every single box that they lay out before you. You can fulfill every expectation that they lay at your doorstep and it will never be enough. It will never be good enough. Goodness me, Gemini, who are you dealing with? This is intense. Oh, five of swords, Venus and Aquarius. Enemies that act like friends, somebody who acts superior, that competitive element, the imbalance, the humiliation, the degradation. The advice with this is, is do not play this game. Do not play this game. You have absolutely, I can see, reached your breaking point here. So you do what you got to do. Okay. Hopes and fears, five of wands. Okay, what I'm hearing is if this person is being so uncooperative right now, what on earth are they going to be like if I leave? You cannot expect this person, or this is your concern, that you cannot expect this person to be um, cooperative once you have drawn this boundary and said, I'm not taking this anymore. This is possibly why you have to get your all your ducks in a row on the down low. Goodness me, Gemini. Overall outcome, Queen of Swords. Wow. You've got this. You do got this. You you wow. 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 Stand firm in your truth and be no pushover. Be truthful. Be direct. You have learned your lesson. No more second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, or tenth chances. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, well, that ain't gonna happen. Okay? Right now, there's some emotions stirred up with this. I can see that. Pay attention to words and make sure that there are actions that are backing them up. I feel like that moment has passed. I feel right now. The truth is far more important than any emotional pull, any emotional manipulation. That is an insanely intense reading, um, Gemini. And again, if you're in a situation that is dangerous or abusive, please, please, please take care of yourself. First and foremost, let's have a look at what you don't know, what's at the bottom of the deck here, the Page of Swords. Okay. Yeah. Um, We've got this energy of stalking and prying into secrets, gathering information. This is going on behind your back. Um, yeah. I feel like somebody is taking your words and actions, twisting them, not even twisting them, taking it a step beyond twisting. And just reframing the entire narrative to something that is simply untrue at this point. And then being angry with you and weaponizing this narrative to use against you. I feel when all is said and done, this person will be very keen to paint you as the villain of this story. And <laughs> the Queen of Swords is like, you need me to be the villain. You got it. You got it. Okay. Because she doesn't care. She doesn't care. She will very carefully consider the facts of the situation. She will pay attention to what's being said. She will pay attention to what's being done. I, I, I really need to move this over to the extended. I'm going to do that right now. The link to that is in the description. Thank you so much for being here with me today. And again, take care of yourselves. Um, I'd love to see some of you over in the extended. Um, yeah, good luck. Good luck with this. And, and, and again, happy birthday. Take care.